Oh, hello there, you lovely lot. Welcome back to a fabulous masterclass here on Crafters TV. It is Saturday, the sun is out. We're full of the joys of spring. Myself and Debbie are going to be here with you for the next hour. Uh, and the masterclass, of course, always looks at one style of product or one sort of type of crafting. Uh, and this masterclass is going to be all about decoupage or decoupage, as we like to call it, don't we, Debbie? If we are feeling, you know, slightly fancy uh, on a Saturday afternoon. How are you, Debbie? I'm fine thank you very much yes yep all ready and raring to go and get stuck into these fabulous demos but we'll show you a little bit about the decoupage uh, because we've got some fabulous deals with the decoupage um, but there is other ways that you can use them because we have give you an, um, a choice of papers or a choice of these stamps so if I just show you um, these particular designs you'll see what I mean and what I understand um, with the so decoupage cool, layer I it? love this one I just I, I don't know what I'm drawn to it I don't know what it is about it but that's from the spring is here um, dye set as well as those papers so the papers look absolutely fabulous you can see that decoupage layer using either foam pads or 3d collal glue but you've got the option of having a stamp where you can either stamp and then decoupage those layers up or just basically use this as a stamp so there's lots of different ways I'll show you a couple of more as well Joe, because these are beautiful I'm going to show you that lovely lilies the beautiful lilies that we've got in this collection and look how beautiful it works with um, nesting dyes and things like that it's absolutely beautiful get your gilding wax as out. it's absolutely stunning but you can see that lovely layered that multi-layered look and I've always loved decoupage I've done it for many many years uh, but it was always a bit tricky a bit fussy cutting and things like that not anymore with the stamps and dies that we've got uh, but take a look at this is the same one Joe but we're it's using cool, the stamp yeah absolutely beautiful and of course when you're using the stamp to create your decoupage layers um, it means that you can create as many layers as you want as little as you want uh, build up your design but of course you can choose your colours then because they're pre-coloured for your already image but the ability for you to use them how you want with your own colours, choices of mediums whether it be alcohol pens, aqua markers, pencils, sparkle pens and so on and so on and so on just means that you can use these and decoupage them up to your heart's content however you like Joe. Fabulous. So that's some of the things that we're going to be going through in this show for you. Excellent. Let me take you through then the main item that you're going to want to get your hands on to get a hold of these let's start it's your floral decoupage pads stamps and dies uh, 192 sheets in here so you've got 48 uh, sheets in each of the pads let me show you what the pads look like firstly um, once you've exhausted these as well you can actually download the artwork if you want to uh, from our website it's in the download section it's great to have it on that paper pad there but different options so what you're going to get in each one of the different themes is you will get the dies themselves now you either overlay the die over the artwork cut it out decoupage it up or stamp that art stamp, stamp that image out and then lay those dies over the top of there you can see one done here with a pad one that's been done with your markers there as well so you'll receive the precious poppies in here you will also get as well the beautiful lilies which are these ones then you've got your spring is here it's a lovely sort of mix of different flowers and then you've got your roses in bloom in there too. You save £31 or $44, $72.71 or $103.18 is what you're looking at today. Uh, there are some, uh, a couple of s other smaller collections uh, available for you. These ones are available individually and there are a couple of other ones which I'll share with you as we go through the show. All of that you can see over on the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. That's where you can watch and shop at the same time. We are though, aren't we, in the midst of our new schedule here at Craft TV. Now the weekend schedule, it is unchanged. And I'm going to share that one with you. Where, it, there it is. Uh, here you can see. Uh, so midday, 3 p.m., 7 p.m. For East Coast is at 7, 10 and 2. Uh, if you're over on the West Coast, that's 4 a.m., 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. Monday to Friday, uh, things look slightly different now here on Crafters TV. And these are your showtime. So 11 a.m., 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. if you're here in the UK. Uh, East Coasters, 6 a.m., 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Uh, 6am, 9am, 10am? Yes. No, 6am, 9am and 1pm. Uh, and then 3am, 6am and 10am if you are over on the West Coast. Don't forget as well how you find the products has changed slightly. Uh, we now have a Shop the Day selection. So on the right side of your screen there, you can see, uh, it's just play your crafts, right? We look, oh, who's that? I'm some chap. Uh, and then uh, below it there, you can see you've got Shop the Day. You can hit that button or you can uh, go to the schedule and have a look through our previous items there as well. Thank you, George, for pointing out that I am re-wearing that jumper that I wore there. Look. <laughs> 
You can see the toxic masculinity oozing from me there, can't you? Uh, in that particular picture. So butch. Um, don't forget also, 25% off of clear stamps all weekend, which is very nice, isn't it? And tomorrow we are celebrating the second anniversary of Colour Me Happy, and you'll get 10% off ink pads to celebrate that as well. But we're going to dive right in and have a little look at these floral decoupage items. These are so cool. And I reckon these are definitely one of those things anyone can have a go at. Would you agree, Debbie? Absolutely. Anybody, any skill level, whether you're just starting out in craft whether you've been crafting for a long time um, anybody can do it of any age uh, as well so it's a fabulous collection I'm going to start with the precious poppies I know it's not the poppy season right now but I absolutely love this one and this is how it will come to you in the set if you're going for one of the sets but if you're going for the all of them you've got a plethora of different things in there and I mean tons and tons of flowers going to keep you decoupaging for many a month to come so this is your pad and all you're going to do is literally take out your sheet and you'll see each one of the sheets are all numbered so you've got your number one your two your three so we're giving you that guiding hand in how you can actually do your decoupage layers traditionally before when I used to decoupage Joe I used to just print out the papers and then fussy cut them around and just just decide where they went um, whether I went in for different pieces and things like that this is really clever how it's being done and how it's being designed for it to make it very very easy to achieve and there is nothing to stop you from doing more than one of these you've got 48 sheets in this book 48 sheets so if you want to add some more layers and some more decoupage depending on the height that you want to go to you absolutely can I'm going to keep it very basic for that first demonstration and don't forget you've got the stamps as well there so the stamp um, comes with the same design it's exactly the same size so it's been sized the same as the paper pad uh, this particular design here the only difference here is that you multiple stamp a few times and then color in and then you choose the dies because we've got the dies here which I'm going to show you in a minute and layer up those to create those um, decoupage textures so that's your stamps that's your pad and then of course we've got the dies and the dies are really easy to use she says trying to pull them out of the bag there we go I think I've got all of them come on come on stuck at the very bottom oh Joe it don't want to come out this one oh. might, I might have to go in right might down to the bottom give it a pull you want love send a ferret in send <laughs> <laughs> it's because it had got some look somebody had left the tape on it from last time that's what it is uh, but all of these if you notice now when you take a look at this and if this is the first time you've seen these it couldn't get any easier I promise you now I'm going to show you we'll start with the largest one and if I turn that over not only have you got that lovely cutting um, outside die that lifts up so it cuts out the, the, the whole design it's got some um, embossed detail on the inside as well so it's going to look lovely and it's going to give you texture to your paper but it's also going to come in really handy when you use the stamps as well so in order to line this up and you'll see you've got a number on each one this little notch here it's not no cutting line means that that is the one that goes over the number and that's how you line it up Joel so and again can you see on the very first one you've got this outside white um, outline but not on the inside petals if you had white on the inside petals when you layer it up it would look odd so that's why it's being designed just with the one with the main piece and then those pieces um, are on the near the near the knuckle on the knuckle what am I on about um, <laughs> Honestly, sometimes the words yeah, I'm thinking. What for did you say? On the knuckle. Oh, the knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I said? Do you know what I think I said? Oh, sorry, I thought you said something else. No, no, it's all right. No, no. I think it's the way I say it. It's the way I say it. <laughs> <laughs> so now then we're going to move on to number oh. two and so number two so you can see it's all covered up but number two is exactly the same where if you take a look at that design can you see this bit this it's like a, a space of metal like there's um, an empty piece that's what's going to go over number two so we're going to line that up and we're going to position that into place and you'll know when you've got it right or wrong because you can't see anything if if you pull it, you've got to make sure you've got it lined up properly. That's why you would use your little notch there to, in order for you to line that up really nice and neatly. And I'm going to, I always take mine down, Joe, um, each one. Okie doke. So I'm popping down quite a lot of low tack tape. Low tack tape, though, there's loads of low tack tape that we offer you. We offer you three in a pack in dispensers. Um, so what I'm going to do now, Joe, is take all those off the sheet and we're going to line each one of these up. So I can see that this is number three, and again, that space that space metal is where you pop it over, um, or should I say the um, notch? Is that the right word I'm going to use? Yeah, let's go. Bonus notches. Notch, bonus what? Bonus notches. I thought you were 
shouting a chocolate bar at me then. <laughs> oh, no. I what, what a Bonner's Notches would be like as a chocolate bar. It's, as a chocolate mm. bar. Mm. Oh, let's not talk chocolate. When I went on holiday last week, Debbie, there's this, with the, the little town that we went to, there's this one ice cream shop in the town. And oh my word, it's so delicious, right? Beautiful ice what cream. What I didn't realise is the hotel I'd booked. It was only above the ice cream shop. Oh. <laughs> so, there's no wonder I put four pounds on a holiday, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, bless Must you. Must book a hotel further away from the ice cream shop in, in future <laughs> if I go back. Did you have a nice holiday, Joe? Yeah, it was really lovely, thank you. The weather wasn't great, to be honest, but um, which was very relaxing. Just had breakfast and then a nap, uh, and then had some lunch and a nap. And uh, then went out for some dinner and went home and went to bed. It was great. Did that for a few days. That's my kind of holiday. A lot that of napping. Is exactly I reckon there was at least holiday. about three to four hours of napping a day going on. But that's what you need sometimes when it you work incredibly hard. And you've been working incredibly hard yes, recently. So it was, it was so. absolutely lovely, thank you. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered. Absolutely. absolutely. Now, I'm, I'm all ready. I'm all lined up. So what I'm going to do now is run this through my die cutting machine. Now, these will fit on um, your um, Gemini Junior, your Gemini Midi. If you want to do them on your smaller machines, all you're going to have to do is trim down to size and perhaps trim out each individual one. So there's no, um, you know, it, it, it's um, catering for everybody with any machine. And of course, not just a Gemini machine, it is our chosen machine that we use, uh, but they will fit through any of your other manufacturing models that are out there, um, whether it be an electronic or a manual one as well. Um, but just obviously, for obvious reasons, optimum results, use your Gemini. Um, but there we go. So when I take these off now, Joe, and I've just removed those for a second, what you'll see is that it's cut through. Ooh, look at that, straight off there. And you can see how precise, when you line them up and use them, you know, when you use those little pointers I've just given you you can see how beautifully um, it cuts them out absolutely gorgeous really really beautiful so I'm just gonna make sure I've got all of the pieces just a couple of my leaves and then I'll move those out of the way let's just take that uh, that one that one and I'm just finding a little po pokey tool just to take there's little release holes at the back of each of these dies so it enables you to get uh, the piece out with um, ease but again you can see now just die cut to perfection they really are and I just love flowers I don't know anybody is there anybody out there that doesn't love flowers oh fresh flowers are the best aren't they fresh my house, flowers my, yeah. house was, my flat feels a bit naked without any flowers in it that I got some from Mother's Day my daughter and they're still going strong still going strong right i've got all my pieces ready joe and that's just from one sheet like i said you can if you wanted add multiple sheets you can do another die cut and you can add more texture and more depth to them depends on the size that you want to go with i'll just push that to one side now for the first demonstration i think what i'm going to do is uh, we've got ball tools on the show as well joe so we've got ball tools where you can shape them if you want to um, and if i just grab a couple of ball tools um we've got the ball tools that's um, that you would have with the flower forming foam get that right um, and the sponge as well so you can shape them with your ball tools as well so I haven't got my white sponge but I'm going to bring in my um, die cleaning one so you can take these and then you can start to shape them um, however you want to shape or you can take your bone folders as well and you okay. can bone use your bone folder to do a little bit of shaping so you can get some nice depth and dimension with your uh, bone folders or your bowl tools it depends on the look that you want to go for um, and it, it just gives them it gives them a little bit of texture when you do this as well so again I'm just going to give this a nice little curl um, but I think I'm going to use... Do you know what I think I'm going to use? Um, have a guess. I'm going to have a guess. I would say a wire coat hanger. A what? You're going to use a wire coat hanger. A wire coat hanger? Yeah. What, to stick them down? Oh, I didn't know you were going to stick them down. I just thought you meant genuinely. I thought there was just something random. Oh, you just said, what, what am I going yeah, to use? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, sorry there, A chocolate Joe, yeah. teapot. No, I am going to... What do you think I'm going to stick them down with? Um, ambition and goodwill. A what -y? Ambition and goodwill. Oh, you are not playing ball with me today, Are you going to use chocolate glue? Are you? I am going to use oh. chocolate glue, yeah. I am going to use some foam pads later on, though, as well, because um, I, I do, have, especially of late, I have been using foam pads quite a lot in my demonstrations. Um, I've fallen back in love with them again, I have. Um, so, but I'm just giving these a nice little bit of... Um, um, 
almost that realistic feel to them so again I'm just going to pop those on there so let me get hold of my chunky glue now um we've got have we got some um oh I've got a three for two. Oh, fantastic uh 3d uh glue gel collection there you are you get three of them yeah you pay for have two you of them have you got one of the tools in there by any chance I, or per chance I believe they are the Could ones I with just the tools do a quick little before I just show you so oh, you I want to show something? you how to pop them in is that okay you what sorry and plus I'm running out of glue oh so, yeah I'll yeah. give you one of these it's fine thank you very much I'll give much. you the contents I'll just keep the box how about that yes that'll do fine thank you very much so because oh, in that was already here, been filled I bet oh, you've got a glue bogey in there now oh no yeah do you want a different one in. yes please if give we could I'll give you that back oh there you go Oh, did you? Throwing shades at me, producer Georgina. Oh. Saying it was me from last time. I'm going to show you, though. So the glue itself, when you get it and you get in the tube, you get this little key. But I'm going to, I'm going to show you, if I can, perfect, Joe. There should be a little yellow top in there as well. Brilliant. So in your box, you will find you've got a full tube, you've got your little key, and you've got your little nozzle as well. So I'm just going to show you what you will do. You take this off. You take the... And I'm just going to grab a poker tool for this one. Um, and I'm just going to give that a little um, release the um, seal so I'll take the seal off well this seal don't want to come off today Joe there we go got the seal off um, and you're going to get your key because the key goes in the bottom end and then you just give this and it pushes it through so the glue will come through I'm just going to unload my um, little syringe and how I do mine is I hold the key hold the glue tube pop that over the ends like so and then just pop a little bit of glue in so we're just going to pop a little bit in take this off now the important part here joe is that that glue comes up to the top so if i hold it there right. can you see at the very end i've got a bit of glue oh, yeah. coming out so i'm going to leave it there because i know there's no air being trapped in and i'm just going to go <clears> straight back on with the top and that now means that no air is going to get in there. It's not going to dry up. It's going to last year and last year and last year, like mine has, because this is mine, uh, one of my, one of plenty that I use. Uh, but I'm just going to push that up to the top again because um, I can get a lot of glue still out of there. Um, and that means there's no air in, so it's ready for me to use again. Pop your little tube into your, disp into your syringe. Push that up to the top. Another little top tip whenever you're coming to pop this on or when you've finished using it. There's no point decantering it every time you use it you can keep these on but people that ask me the most is how can I stop any air bubbles from getting in there again it's the same thing make sure there's some glue at the end popping through and then pop your top onto there okay now, what I'm going to do Joe is I am going to layer up my decoupage so that was number one this is our number two and I'm going to put quite a bit of uh, 3d kalal glue I'll give it its proper name and um, 3d kalal glue on there and what we're just going to do now is match those petals up and because I've got this lovely shape and I've got quite a bit of dimensional glue on there, it means I'm going to get quite a bit of um, quite a bit of uh, texture and a bit of decoupage going. Can you see how you can create that with them? Yeah. Lovely. Um, and I'm going to do that with the next one. So the third piece goes down. So we'll pop the third piece on, pop some um, quite a nice bit on again. And then I'm just going to position it. Now, you can see how they're anchored. Debbie, get the right way around. Let's push that there. So you can see that they match up and marry. And because I'm using wet glue, I've got a bit of time to get it back into place. Because chunky, sorry, 3D cloud glue is still wet. It's a wet glue and it needs a bit of time to um, settle. So I'm going to pop that down and set. And I say a little bit of time. Mm, let's have a think. Probably about, about an hour or two maybe yeah a bit an hour or two so there you go and again can you see now I've got that lovely texture and I've got a little bit of um, extra texture just by curling them and giving them a bit of uh, uh, shape so again I'm going to pop a little bit and I say a little bit you've got a lot of glue in those tubes so you can of course and again when I go back to that first piece that's exactly what you can do I can carry on layering up it's a so it depends on how much you want to layer you your decoupage you double them up if you to as well you want them? could you double them up and do double Double layers, Doubles. you know, get loads of height on there. Yeah, absolutely you can, Joe. Um, that's the beautiful thing about decoupage. There's no rules to how many layers you put on. If you're going for the 48 sheets, you've got a lot of sheets in there. If you're going for the stamping, you can stamp to your heart's content and layer up quite a lot. So, you know, there's no there's no right or wrong ways to these. Let me make sure I've got my uh, petals on the right way. There we go. And I'm just going to position that into place. And then I've got a little one here. And again, especially for the smaller pieces, foam pads are really good, but you know when you're using small pieces, that's why I prefer to use my 3D Kalal glue. Um, 
for reasons being, I'm not very good at getting the small pieces um, of foam in there. I'm not like our Craig. Our Craig's a whiz with them. He absolutely is. So again, I'm just going to push that up to the top and then make sure the glue and then not wiping the glue off, I'm just going to pop that in there. Okay, and that'll look. stop. I'll be able to you come back to that and use it again without any um, hardening. If it does harden up, Joe, all I would say is um, grab hold of it with either a poker tool and just go into the top and pull out the bit that's dried and you, you should be good to go for the, to, you know, for the next one. Okay, look. So that that's now needs time to set because if I just hold that up a little bit, you can see I've got quite a bit of dimension there and those lovely, um, it gives it more, more of a realistic 3D feel. I have got one though done Joe um, that has set um, and I've kept this quite flat this one but again you can see those layers and you can see how those decoupage Perfect. layers work so I've got two two there to be playing with this is what I do on a night time I do loads and then pop them in a little box and then use them when I need to when I you know when I want to make something and talking of boxes that's exactly what I'm going to do with this one so I've got myself a black base and I've got a white top I started off with two pieces of cardstock that were the same size and these actually measure at eight by eight but I've gone in two inches all the way around looking for a nice little small box with this one Joe the only difference that I've done with this one so I've done the scoring and when you've done your scoring that's on the box base side of your board this is on the box lid side of your board but I wanted a little bit of um, a lip so what I've done is I've taken off half an inch around either side and that's how I make my boxes when I want can you see the difference there Oh yeah. Uh, so that's how, that's how I do it. And and again, I could trim down a little bit more. It depends on how how much dimension you want on your box uh, lid. So I'm just going to trim these down and get my boxes uh, put together. Uh, because normally I would start with cards, but I felt felt like a bit of a change oh, with this one. With it being um, a little bit of a masterclass. Absolutely. The thing with decoupage is that home decor pieces. This is where I started my life um, with decoupage. When my children were very young. Um, and they were in bed and they used to go to bed quite early Joe what I wanted to do was keep my fingers busy out of the um, biscuit jar and things like that as you do so um, I started to take up and I say craft but literally did cross, stitch it, cross stitching um, and decoupage and I was right into decoupage because um, I could also earn a little bit of pennies from it because I used to do all my decoupage sheets and then put them in frames and then sell them and they are, I absolutely adored it but again it was time consuming which at that point was okay because the kids were little um, but yeah it's it's, um, it's very therapeutic and there's nothing to stop you from taking your, full scissors, uh, your little scissors or your snippy scissors um, and put in that together do you know if that's what you, if that what rocks your boat and you want to do that absolutely Craig adores that method he's very much you know he could sit and snip to his heart's content and I am going to actually do that and show you um, a little way of doing that later on as well so I'm just decorating my box um lid side um, I'm gonna have a little bit of a change up so I'm gonna have um I've chosen some papers but I've chosen I've chosen Oh, do you know, I what, knew, I knew producer, you know? I knew producer Georgina was going to ask me. I'll have to have a little look at my notes because I do think, um, let me just remember where I've got, oh, do you know, it's going to plague me now. I'll find out for you and I'll, um, I'll, I'll have a little peek in between when I finish this demo, Joe. One of our paper pads. I think I know which one it is. I think it's, it's that, um, is uh, it spring florals? Um, have I made that? Um... No, no, it's not the positive. I think you're thinking of the positive thoughts, producer Georgie. I think it's an 8x8, eight eight, isn't it, Debbie? Uh, no, it's come no. from a 12x12, 12 12, this one. Well, one of our fabulous viewers out there, no doubt, is screaming at their screen. They will be. It's the contemporary... It's the... Conte it's not cont the, the that's the one. Is it? I, I was going to say it was the countryside one. No, I think it's the... I think it's the... I think it's... What? Producer Georgie just said. Contemporary watercolour. Yes, I'm pretty sure I believe that one's sold out and gone off the top of my head. Um, it could have. Do you know, to be fair, Joe, I'd just pick things up. I, 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 oh, I well, everyone little... will have it. I know, we sold thousands of them. Well, do you know what? To be fair, um, I went with this because it's got, like, the pinky red tones, which I thought worked really well with the poppies. Mm. Um, so that's why I went for that one. Um, but, yes, the, you know, 
think of all the papers that we have at Crafters Companion. Think of your textured paper pads. What about doing some embossing? Um, all those kind of things that you can do. Uh, but I just thought this quite worked quite well with um, this particular design. I've used some of our nesting dies as well. Do you know our stitched net nest? Wait a minute. Stitched edge nesting dies, and this is the circular one. So the circle one, I've used a bit of black and white um, on there as well. So I'm going to just pop this down. I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and even. There we go. In fact, I'm just going to put my tape on around my um, pieces. Um, I do like to decorate a box beforehand. That's what I like to do now. Um, just makes life a little bit easier for yourself. Uh, but what I'm just going to do is pop this together and then I'm ready to decorate my box with my beautiful poppies. So again, let's go all the way around. There we are. There we are. Just making sure, because I've used the wet glue, it gives me a bit of wiggle time to get those um, pieces perfect and in position. There we go. So that's me box lid. And I'm just going to pop the glue, tape our glue around each one of these. Like so. And then we're ready to pop our decoupage piece onto the top. Oh, I think I'm out. Yep, I need to go and grab another um, tape, pa tape pen. Typical today, I picked a tape pen up, didn't I? First thing I'd picked up when I came in the studio after, after 12 days off, Debbie. You did? Went to do it, as soon as I did it, <laughs> gone. I was like, oh, You gosh. did, didn't you? <laughs> no, it'd been waiting for me, that one, to come back from holiday. <laughs> so I just popped my base together, like so. And then we'll pop that top of sheet on there. There we go. And I'm going to pop a little piece just inside the box as well, just to give it a little bit of a, especially as it's going to be a gift box. Let's pop that inside. And all of these pieces, this box actually measures, now I've brought it down, it started off life as 8x8, eight eight, but it's actually could turn out to be a 4x4 four four box um, with, the two, with the two sides there. But again, if I just push that in, you'll see what I mean. Just do I by taking that little piece off, let me just go there, it doesn't go all the way down, so oh, it gives nice. me that little lip. Uh, and makes a really nice decorative feature, and a little bit easier to lift off as well, you've got something to grab and if nice I just hold it there. Nice that you match it to your mats and layers as well, ties yes. it all in, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So let's pop on now. Um, in fact, I think I might use some more 3D cloud glue for my base. Let's pop some down. And then I'm going to pop this on top, give it another bit of a... It's really going to be a nice dimensional box, this one. Um, and then we're going to go back to... And I think I'll use my um, dried one rather than the wet one. I'll save my wet one and I'll pop that in um, for, you know, for, into my box of spare pieces. I'm just going to pop some 3D cloud onto the back. I'm going to place... Let's have it a little bit... Um, skew with and I've got myself a little tag that I've just stamped and edged it with a little bit of our um, water reactive ink and I've just stamped the word love and I'm just going to give that a little shape and I'm going to put a bit of 3D cloud glue on either end and let's just push that underneath like so. How cute is and that? And there you go, a lovely little gift box uh, where we've got some dimension and our decoupage layers, if I just lift that up, you can see we've got a lot of dimension going off at the top lid of that box, but a gorgeous little gift box ready to gift to someone you love. Amazing, absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And if you want to be creating exactly that, then we've got everything you need to do so. So let me take you through what you're getting included in here. Uh, you've got the precious poppy there, as you can see, the beautiful lilies, spring is here, and there's also roses in bloom. You've got £31 or $44 saving when you buy them all together. If you want to go for the smaller individual collections, you can. They are available over on the website for £20 or $28. Uh, something else I want to tell you about that chunky glue that we just had a little look at. Uh, it is available for you. It's on a buy two. It's on a buy two, get one free there as you can see 15.98 or 27.90 if you want to get your hands on those. If you want to go for the foam pads as well, we also have those on the show too. So uh, a good selection here as well. Lots of different sizes in there for you, from the larger ones down to the much, much smaller ones for you. Uh, so uh, 1,100 of uh, them there, 750 or 1950 if you want to get your hands on those. £6.15.60 if you are a Platinum member. 
Right, a couple other bits I want to share with you on the show. A couple of other decoupage items, actually. Uh, let's have a little look at these. So, you have got here, these are stamps and dies together. Uh, we don't have the pads with these, but I'll tell you more about that in just a second. So, what you'll get in here is the stamped image there, as you can see, the sentiments that then go with that, and the dies to cut those out. But what you've also got is a cracking price on this. $8.45 or $13 gets you those two. Or what you can do is you can go for the Peony Blooms. Now, I know I'm going to show you the pad on here. You don't get the pad but what you are going to get is the dies and you'll get the stamps for $8.45 or $13. The great news is if you want to download the artwork for this one or for the classic rose that I just shared with you as well it's available right now over on the website so if you go across to the website go to inspiration and then downloads this is what you'll see here and it's actually the third one across there uh, so that one with the rose you'll find the peony there so you can see the peony you'll find the rose in there as well you can download that print it off uh, so you've got that as well $8.45 though or $13, a really, really great price there for you. Don't forget you'll find all of the items under the Shop of the Day uh, section of the website now as well. So you'll see it on the home screen, Shop of the Day and our Fantastic Crafters TV schedule you can access right from the home screen. Um, very, very busy um, on these at the moment. Uh, there's actually loads coming up throughout the rest of the day here as well uh, at Crafters TV. I feel like I'm a bit ropey, I'm rope, no, I'm not ropey, that is the wrong word, but it was a good, it was a good um, example of the point I was trying to make, Debbie, which is I'm a bit rusty today after my holiday. You know, get, you know, you've got to take a little, you know, it takes a bit warming up, doesn't it, to get back in the groove? It does. I'll get there. I'll probably get there by about Tuesday, which is my last day, I reckon. I'll probably be, you know, right on form when it's time to go, time to go again. Uh, but we're going to move on now, Debbie. Which one would you like to take us through next? So I'm going to show you with the um, peonies. I'm going to move on to the other collections that we've got where you can get the smaller bundles with the stamps without the paper pads, but don't forget about those inspirational download sheets that are on our website. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do your decoupage using the stamps as well and how they work beautifully and, and that's the that's the card that we're going to achieve right now so um, what I need first of all is some good stamping um, cardstock to stamp onto so I'm actually using Nina cardstock and I've brought in our stamping platform um, so I'm just gonna pop that down um, now you'll find all of these items on the website they might not necessarily be on the show today but you can go and check out the website in total as well and have a little look so that's already loaded up but I'm going to bring in now you do have the peony bloom stamps which like so in fact let me just put that on there where you can see it a little bit better so you've got the pit pit can tell we love this one we use it a lot look at the color it's of it very well used it's well loved and well used but you've also got the dies that actually cut out these as well so this is so easy to use and it I honestly it's one of those that it gives you something else it offers you some different creativity with it as well joe and i'm just going to stamp this on a couple of times let me just pop that in that top corner and i'm going to use um because i'm using tri-blend pens to color in with i'm going to use our alcohol proof dye um, ink pad dye so um absolutely four different colors to choose from this is the noir black one that i'm using uh, but you can get a softer look if you use maybe the pebble or the rustic brown um, but i'm going in for the black one and i'm giving that a good coverage all over so small little taps all over and then we're going to stamp that image but you, this is when you need to multiple stamp so we talk about the paper pad where you can multiple cut this is where you'll need to actually stamp out quite a few of the images so I'm just going to stamp a couple on here to show you what I mean. So let's just make sure I've got that all covered. Just a little bit missing just in that top corner. Let me go back down. Perfect. Um, and then I'm going to do that again, but this time... Oh, actually, I could have twisted that. Oh, oh so yeah, that's what I was about to say. You could have just... I just could have twisted could have it, twist couldn't the room. I? Yeah, never mind. It'll be fine, Joel, don't worry. Yo. So I'm just going to pop that back down again, pick it back up. Already off at stamp on there. Look, there's still loads of ink left. Um, so we'll cover that back over with a bit more ink. Small little taps all over your stamp. And these are lovely quality, these. These are uh, clear acrylic stamps. Um, I'm just thinking, though, do you know, because it's a stamp, versatility, stamp and colour, maybe use a heat emboss technique nice. and use your watercoloured uh, products like your aqua pens what about a little resist technique using this stamp as well um you know this yeah in fact yeah i think i might have to show you that one producer georgina we've got a lovely sample um of how you can do that look just missed a little bit in that top corner let me go back down i'm in over perfect i love our stamping platform for that reason um i'll do one more joe i'll just pop another one on there let's see if i can squidge that in i can so again i'm just going to pick that up probably already got yep 
not really got a little bit on there. Mm. Um, I love the one that, do you know that gorgeous one Craig did in the black and white, just using the grey, oh my goodness, what a beautiful example of what you can do with your stamp. Who says you need colour? I've, in fact, yeah. in a moment, I will show you that one again, Joe, because I've got know, it down it's here. It's lovely to add colours to the stamps, but I think there are so many different techniques that you can do with them, aren't there? Leave them monochrome. And I think black and white cars sometimes, very classy. Yeah, or you could do the black and white part in the background like Craig did and maybe have the focal part being coloured. Nice. That would look really beautiful Love as idea. well. Love that. I'm going to leave that because I'm quite happy with that. So I've got three there to start with. Um, I could probably squeeze another one in there, but um, just for the sake of the demonstration, just to show you what we're going to do. Now, this is when you can colour your images. Now, I want you to think about this because... Um, main one you are going to color the whole of it in but for the rest of them um perhaps be a bit savvy with them and don't color them all in just color the sections that you're going to decoupage up so i'm going to take all the dies out to show you what i mean by that and i think what i'll do first of all is i'm going to i'll, I'll die cut them first uh, so again the same way now i know with the die that you you know you can see that you've got your number you don't have it with the stamp so this is when you're going to have to look look at your die look at the stamp and place it over okay, so where you had before where you've had the number being able to to give you a clue in how to do that um it's a little bit different with this one so i'm going to pop that down i'm going to pop some low tack tape over that sheet so before we do any colouring, I'm going to die cut these out first. And then you've got the dies. Now this is when you have to, again, start to have a little play around with it. And this is why I would say multiple stamp as well. So do a few where you've got these. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the three pieces. So we've got the three parts of the flowers here. So you've got the large flower and then you've got the two smaller ones. So we know that we need to twist this up like so. And then all we're doing is now taking a, um, a section. So when I said about not colouring it all in, do you see what I mean, Joe? If you mm. coloured it all in, you'd be wasting yes, and you don't want to do that you're wasting your time and your effort and there's no point so I'm just going to line that up again and I'm going to pop my um, tape over what you could do is you could die cut them and then stamp over the top so if you if you prefer that method it's just that you'd have to position it into place so it can be a bit tricky however you'll find something that works for you so now when i take a look at this one i can see i think it's this floor it is oh no it's part of the big flower isn't it yeah it's part of the big flower not the smaller flower so um let me in fact let me go with the smaller one i'm going to take that down there and I'm going to position again into place. And you'll know, Joe, if it's right or wrong, because you'll see your, your artwork. In fact, is it that one? Yeah, there it is. I knew it, I knew it was one of them. There we go. It's, it's like I said, it's a little bit trickier when you're doing it without the numbers. However, um, it's going to look fabulous once it's all coloured up and all die cut out. So I wonder if I can get another one out of there. I probably can, can't I? Yeah, let's go into that middle bit. So let's go in and position that. There we go. Oh, that was a good idea, producer jo Georgina. She said, go in and mark with your dies. That's a, what a clever idea that is. Has, has someone already suggested that? Uh, so Georgina was saying you could mark the die uh, with maybe something like a Sharpie. Uh, mark the numbers on there. I guess you could. But I guess then the other thing is you don't have the numbers on the stamp, do you, to line it up with? So. Yeah. Yeah, so all I'm um, doing is positioning these into place. So I'm going to pick out that floral like so. Um, so out of this one, out of this bottom one, can you see how many I'm getting out of there? So I've gone for the full one, I've gone for the three part, and then I've got out of this stamp, I've got three pieces that I'm able to use. But again, I'm not colouring it all in because I might be wasting some of it. And then, of course, if you've got another stamped image, you can be using your other part to it. But what we'll just do is we'll run this through. Now, I think I might need me, in fact, to tell you what, I'll get my scissors. I'll just snip this down a little bit because um, I'll run it through twice. So I know I don't need those bits, so that's okay. I can go across there and I'll get across that part. And I can get those two pieces on that side and then we'll go through with the bigger one as well in a moment. And this is exactly the same concept or sort of technique, Debbie, you can do with all of the floral decoupage items. Yes. So when we go for the larger collection that we showed you earlier or the two individual ones, you've got the option to do it across absolutely all of them. Brilliant price on this for the set of stamps and the dies as well. $8.45, $13. It's a half price deal, Debbie, which is rather fabulous. Absolutely. Now you can see, look at these, they just drop out of there. But now we've got our images to be able to colour. So I'm just going to put the big main one on there, like so. Um, and I might just do colour a couple of them in. I'm not going to colour the full image because I have actually already done one. Uh, but 
use your tri-blends and I've used a mixture of tri-blends and tri-blend bush pens um, like I said any kind of medium I think I think with this particular way of uh, decoupaging it enables you to get really creative where you can use colour um, and lots of different colouring mediums as well which again it means they're so versatile in how you use them now I'm just going to pop that there to one side I've run that through haven't I yes I have so you can see now I've got my lovely piece all cut out ready for me to um, actually um, uh, play with colour with um, so again I'm just going to pick all these pieces up I've got all of them out let's have a look one just left in there let's get that one out and then again you can see now all my layers are ready so it's just a different way of doing it um, but equally as effective as you would do with the paper pad it's giving you options Joe, and that's what I love about anything if it gives me options and there's still a little area there where I could put that other flower on um, nice. and cut that out so but again all you're going to do is and if I just use a bit of sp uh, spare yeah we'll get a bit of spare let's go into this little one here oh actually I might use that one um, you'll be able to feel as as well when you it's a bit difficult on white but you can feel when you run your hand over do you know we're talking about that embossed detail it gives a really nice realistic feel to the flat to the floral and looks lovely once it's colored in so I'm going to use my um, try blend um, coral blend this one and I'm going to go in I think I might go in all over let's give it a good color all over lovely thing about this as well it's very much in the similar effect whereas the main one has that white image around the edge but the smaller ones the ones that go in are quite close to that what you know that fine detail which for me uh, means it looks more realistic when you start decoupaging those layers together um, and is really quite effective so I'm going to go back in again and what colour was that you're using there? This one's the coral blend. Coral blend. Coral blend, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm using the coral blend. Um, and I've gone in with the light colour to start with. And then I'm going to use the line artwork to um, just to use to grab my um, shade and dimension. So that's all I'm going to do with this one, Joe. So again excellent um lots coming up uh the week ahead as well here on crafters tv uh, make sure you check out the schedule don't forget as well the schedule has changed our show times has changed slightly i'll remind you again uh, about that before the end of this show i'm right in thinking then debbie any of our coloring mediums are going to be fine for this so absolutely uh, our tri blends tri blend brush uh, aqua markers illustrators glitter classics, markers yeah classics sparkle um, pens sparkle pens color blends have we missed got... any color blend pencils uh, colour bands, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, metallic machine, markers, you could do it in metallic if you went on to black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely, so all get, yeah, Joe, honestly, any colouring medium. Um, but it does mean that you're in control of your pet, you know, like, because this is one of the um, peonies. Peonies come in many, many, many different colours. Aren't they gorgeous flowers? Oh, I peonies. love peonies, yeah, they're beautiful. Never used to be able to say it right. Sorry? I used to call it a peony. Peony? A peony. peony. I used to call it a peony. I remember peony, first yeah. doing one of my demonstrations because I'm not very... Um, I love flowers, but I'm not very good with names. Right. So you, apart from a rose. I know a rose. I, I, thought a I, had, I thought I had some flowers at home. I didn't know what I thought there was. I called, was calling them something else. Week. They're chrysanthemums. <laughs> I thought there was something completely different. Yeah, I was think I was calling them a hellebore or something like that. Something completely <laughs> different. Honestly, I don't know my my flowers whatsoever <laughs> well you see this is me i'm not very good with flowers but uh, I, I learned to i learned it very quickly that it's called a peony because um i went to a demonstration with some flowers that we had and i thought it was a peony a peony a peony and right. she laughed at me and i was like oops i must have said that wrong so i, I just said like what what is it called if someone tells me how it's described afterwards then i'm usually quite good at remembering apart from certain words i've said this before oh apart my from days what, sorry apart from certain words that I just struggle with. So uh, it made me laugh because I heard somebody else calling it foliage the other day and I thought, yeah, I feel better now somebody else is calling it yeah. foliage because I can't say it the other way around. No matter how many times you can tell me and teach me, it's just one of those words I just can't oh, I don't know, right. is it just something we said here? Is that how it started? Um, how, what, me? Foliage, is it something we was from us saying it here that you've I started say, I that? say it here because I can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it, Joe. It's one of them words I just can't say. <laughs> I'm shocking, shockingly bad with it. Now, I'm going to show you. Black and white, colour. Oh. Look how gorgeous. I've already, you've already seen me do that one. Um, I've already got another one, so I'm going to have a couple of layers on there. Um, my uh, Tucson. Nice. Coloured in. Uh, and my singular one, whoops, 
What have I done with the singular one? Uh oh. <clears throat> well, you get the gist. You get the gist. You can start to colour those in, and then you can start to multi-layer these up. Now, I did say I was going to use some foam pads. I think I'll, I think I switched to a bit of a foam pad. However, again, let's just talk about those ball tools because ball tools mean that you can shape your florals as well. And now you've got the sponge to be able to do that as well, or you can pop it in your hand and you can give it a little bit of um, dimension as well. So I've got in with the biggest ball there, Joel, but you can Sorry? go in. There are different balls. So wait a minute, get this right. There are different size balls. If I just bring in the two that I've got, because there is three all together. Um, oh, she's a little monkey, isn't she? I do prefer, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the bigger ball because I can go over a little bit more detail with it. Um, but you've got the, oh, oh God, wait a minute, hang on a minute. What's happened? I've got stuck under me. you just got your balls stuck, it, it got, your ball stuck underneath my armpit. Don't ask me how I did that. Uh, but it's nice to do the shaping element, which is why um, those those ball tools are absolutely fabulous. Do you have them with you, Joe? I do have tools? a set of the large ball tools, yes. And um, we've got to do all of those on the show. I'll share them with you in just a few moments. And yeah, so it means that you can, you know, give them a little bit of a shape as well. Um, and I think sometimes it's really nice to do it. It's, uh, obviously, if you like the flatter version of decoupage, then you stick to that you'll find a way that works with you um, but for me I just absolutely I like to give them a bit of shape and dimension and you still can do that and achieve that with your I mean can you see that now and again <coughs> excuse me <coughs> going back oh, into that gives it right? more realistic water thing. Debbie yeah I'll get you a water you stay there oh I'll have to keep, I'll keep talking whilst much. I'm getting the water. Mind you, it'll sound quite funny because all you hear is glug, 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 glug. <laughs> well, you'll grab me water while I'm doing my shaping with my ball tools. <coughs> right, let me just pop that on and I'm just going to shape my petals as well. I'm going to give them a shape on both sides. Uh, it gives it a bit more texture when you do that. Thank you very oh, much, Joel. there you are. <laughs> oh, I got you. I just saw, Debbie, as well, that you are... Out in the lead on the uh, card of the week leaderboard there as I, well. I, I have only just uh, Joe for a long time. It was like a drought. A drought. Nothing. It's like a drought. Oh yes. dear. I've not won for a long time because um, we've got some amazing, talented, you know, craft experts here. Um, so literally, I've gone from um, being at the back of the queue um, to being up up front now. Which I know it's going to be short lived, but it's uh, it's it's nice to have. Um, <laughs> it's nice to be in lead just for this once, and I, I'm going to take it and take it. Where are we going to go to? On this card of the week. Do we know? Because it started in October, didn't it? It was after birthday we reset it. Oh, do we? So I wonder if we're going to go all the way through to birthday oh, I don't, again. I don't know. Who oh, knows? can you see now, jo uh, Joel, just by doing that shaping, it gives you a little bit more of a um, texture to your florals. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use some foam pads and we're going to build up in the same way that we did with the paper pad, but we're going to build it up using um, these. So again, I'm going to start with that, um, the uh, the I'll go with the, the bigger peony and let me just make sure I've got that in the right way so again and because I've added my texture first it means now that even though I'm putting my foam pad on I've still got the texture lined up there so again looks really really beautiful so all we're going to do is we're just going to uh, marry that up as well so let me just get to my two petals there take them um, I always look for the design so I know that that matches and what I mean that Joe and I'm going to put another layer on top because I want to give it a little bit of dimension but by using that smaller petal that we talked about earlier it means that you can really get some nice um, um, depth but I'm taking I'm choosing a point where I know I'm working from and that's how I match mine up so again it's already shaped but I'm just going to grab a foam pad um, let me go for a smaller foam pad for this one Yep, I can chop these down as well. Um, we've got, have we got foam pads on the show as well, Joe? Perfect. We do perfect, indeed. Perfect. Because it's a personal choice, this. You'll know, we, me and Craig talk about this ever such a lot. Personal choice, whether you want to use 3D cloud glue or whether you want to use things like our foam pads. But I've already done the texture and I've already got the layer and I'm actually using some quite um, thick, um, ones, so these are from the bigger ones, but there's thick Can and you thin. double them up if you want to, the foam pads? Yes, you can. I was just going, <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Oh, I'm in your mind. You just yeah, don't know it, yeah, Debbie. Yeah, I've infiltrated absolutely. you. 
<laughs> Absolutely, you can double up and create more of a height with your decoupage. And of course, the choice of the stamp means that you can literally carry on building and building and building. I've seen one of Craig's where he's got, it's like a tower. It looks absolutely stunning. And he used it for an home decor piece. So again, I'm gonna go in, let me just choose my flower, make sure I've got my flowers in the right way. Look for that design and then go in and pop that down and again it just gives and because again I've done the texture you can see you've got that lovely texture going to it um, absolutely beautiful but you can make these as thick as 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 deep a decoupage as you want or two three layers one layer it's entirely up to you so I'm going to bring in now my uh, card blank and I've gone for a fold back <coughs> card with this one Joe um, I've got myself a little sentiment I've gone for a happy birthday one with this one and a little bow um, let me just push those down there so you can see them let me move that out of the way um i've also got here let me just move all this bit out of the way there we are uh, my card blank so my fold back card actually started life as a six by six um, it actually is 12 by six to be fair so 12 by six and i've scored it in at three inches and six inches um, and literally just folded it scored it and folded it and scored it and brought it okay, back on itself so you've got this lovely fold back it's like a z z fold card um, and i've chosen some of the papers from now come on you've got to know this one. Oh, i know this one yep Yep. I do. Is it Vintage Butterfly? It is indeed, yes. I thought it might be. Yeah. I've got all on my own. No one helped me there. <laughs> Yeah, from the vintage butterflies, and I thought the gorgeous colours. I always look at things and I look at papers and then choose the colours, which is why I've chosen the Pianist to be in the coral blend because there's quite kind of corally greens in there. Um, so that's how, I, whenever, so, so I've always asked this question, um, I choose my papers and then choose the colours when I'm colouring around the paper to bring it in together to give it a more. Um, um, cohesive look. Uh, a what look? A cohesive look. That's a good description. It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I told you I'd warm up. Uh, <laughs> So again, I'm just going to pop that glue just onto there. I'm using all-purpose glue for this again. Um, and these papers are from both of them. The background paper as well as the foreground paper are from um, that beautiful uh, vintage butterflies. One of my favourite paper pads. Now, I say my favourite paper pads, but Joe, we've got a launch coming up this week. Have we? Oh, me and you? No, Craig. Oh. Got it. You're not here. It's on Wednesday. I'm not here either. No, I've got Craig. Craig's presenting and I'm launching Ooh. and it's the I'm going to put my neck on the line here I'm going to say it it's the best the best paper pad I have ever mm. seen I've, it is um, glorious I had the pleasure of doing that collection with Sarah for the HSM preview and it is absolutely Gorgeous! It's the hummingbird collection that Debbie is referring to. I'm not here on Wednesday because I have a guest for on Wednesday night. Where? Finally, Debbie. Where are you? We'll be riding shotgun. I'm going finally going to see George Ezra on Wednesday. Oh my goodness! I know. So I was meant to go and see him, wasn't I? Was it like four weeks ago now? In like a special gig that he announced in Manchester. Yes. It's very very small. And I have a guess what? He only went and got chicken pox. <laughs> he did. Of yes. all things, he got chicken pox. Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't know as well in the US. You know they had vaccinated against chicken pox. No one gets it. But here in the UK, we don't. Oh, I didn't know that, yeah, Joe. I didn't know that. A little bit of a science lesson for you there. <laughs> now, I've used our nesting circle dies again, which is the stitched one. Um, and I've just glued on half of it. I don't know if you noticed, but we'll just lift it off. I just use it to line it up. Cool. So I centralise it, pop the glue down. You can use your tape pen for that one as well. Uh, but I'm using um, all-purpose glue for this one. Again, it gives me that wiggle time so I can position it now. Even though it's a fold-back card, I still want it to position in the middle of the card um, so it flows better. Um, so there we go we're going to bring in now our beautiful piece um, and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a foam pad again Joe I'll use a foam pad so let me come in with one there one there and again it'll give it a more dimension and give it that lovely raised look that decoupage look um, and again I'm just going to take it into the center part Add a little bow. Um, <laughs> put my little bow there. And then just finish that off. And I think since I've got foam pads and I'm in with my foam pads, I think I'm just going to pop a couple of little foam pads on either side of my sentiments. 
And if you're wondering where this sentiment is from, Joe, it's actually from the Peony collection, the happy birthday. So on the, um, going back to the original stamp, let me just bring this in for a second. There's some lovely um, sentiments on there. So you've got, have a beautiful day, thinking of you, hello, happy birthday, which is where I've took that from. Uh, thankful for your kindness. What a lovely one That's that really is. That's nice, that, isn't it? Make a wish uh, and think, uh, th sorry, hello as well. So yes, yeah, so this, that's where I've got that stamp from and I've just mounted that on and there you go. Apart from adding a few little gems, you can see just how gorgeous it is to be able to create decoupage looks with your stamps as well as your paper pads. Um, not a lot of effort taken, and especially if you love the colouring part, it's get that mindful part of your uh, craft in there. But again, just absolutely beautiful. Love these and it's a gr <laughs> look at the price. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Just beautiful, it really, really is, Debbie. A gorgeous, gorgeous creation, that one. Uh, let me just take you through. I've got a little selection here for you uh, of the ball tools. So if you want to go for the ball tools, you can. Uh, you can get the six ball tools in here and you get the sponge within there uh, as well. So you're going to get those and you'll also get in here uh, our tweezers. These are brilliant because you've got the flat end, the straight point, the angle point, and the needle point and you then get the pokey tools in there too. 20% off, which is amazing. Uh, if you want to create that card that Debbie has just created there, then you will need these. Now, you won't get the pad included. You will get the, the dies and the stamps as well. Uh, the pad, the imagery from the pad, is available to download separately, though, from the website, should you want it. 8.45 or £13 if you want to get hold of those. The other option for you as well, in that style, uh, is this one here, which is your peony blooms, as you can see there. Uh, really, really gorgeous, that one. Uh, oh, hang on. Peony bloom. That one there was, that one was your peony blooms that we just looked at there. No, that was a classic rose. What is wrong with me, honestly? Then you've got, so it's that one there is your uh, peony blooms. It's that one there. So that's your peony blooms, $8.45 or $13 if you want to go for that. Best way to get the best value, though, is to go for the larger collection. Before I share that with you, though, I must talk about the Get It, Got It Good, which is available for you at the minute. Uh, you get the guillotine uh, in here, which is fantastic. Now, and then, uh, totally free of charge, you will also get two packs of our metallic Centura pearl the great thing about the guillotine is that you have that scoreboard on there which is fantastic uh, and it trims it is so so um accurate as well which is wonderful that self-sharpening blade in there the score tool comes included which also lives on board which is wonderful so make sure you start that up before of course monday when we launch a brand new get it got it good as well 19.99 27.96 if you are a platinum member you want to grab a hold of that now, let's go then and have a little look at that original collection that we started off with, which is the best way to get the best value. Four different styles and designs in here. So you're going to receive the precious poppy. You will also get the beautiful lilies, which are these ones here. You've got spring is here and also roses in bloom. 72.71 or 103.18, that saves everyone 31 pounds or 44 dollars, plus you can then use your Club Inspired discount on top of that as well, which is gorgeous. You see them all there. And once you've used those pads, 48 sheets within each of those collections, then you can, of course, go over to the website and download the imagery as well if you want to print it off and continue to use it, which is awesome. Just gives you the most amount of options, which is fantastic. Uh, but Debbie wants to share a few final finish samples with us I believe yeah because because I love uh, decoupage is just a very easy craft to be able to achieve when you've got the right tools and that's what we're, we're giving you today the right tools to be able to get decoupage mastered absolutely easily I've shown you how to do it traditionally with your papers and I've shown you how to do it with the stamps but I want you to remember stamps are stamps and there's lots of things you can do with stamps as well uh, but those papers are absolutely gorgeous and you can take this into any style of crafting um, whether you want to create a little app but look at that lovely dimension that you're getting with those layers that's from the beautiful paper pad which just looks absolutely glorious really lovely that I lo honestly I love them but of course um, depending on what you want to use I'm going to show this again because I absolutely love this one where you've got that lovely lilies and it looks beautiful in one of our uh, lovely nested dies there and you've got all that dimension and because um, Sandy used uh, the 3D Kalal glue she's 
gr created a lot of height here with this one, which looks beautiful. Um, but then what Lucinda's done with this one is use the same set, so it's the same florals, however, it's the stamp version, and Lucinda's coloured those in, and that looks absolutely beautiful. Again, lots of depth and dimension that you get. These are great for toppers to things like your other things that you might have in your stash, like your nesting dies, or they can be a real focal part of your card, which just look absolutely beautiful. You've got all the stamps that come with those as well, so it's a real all-round kit. Um, of course, you've got those beautiful, I love the traditional rose, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, um, but you can simply use the stamps as they are just stamps color it in and create aperture there's no there's no depth and dimension with that one because we've just created a beautiful stamp and colored it in um, and the same applies and i have got the craig one i knew i'd find it just oh, look at that it's just absolutely stunning um, and creating your background paper with that stamp but then elements there with your decoupage which i just think looks absolutely beautiful and what about keeping that black uh sorry black and white with that gray outline maybe colouring it in and creating a bit of a spotlight effect in the centre of your nice. card. So there's lots and lots of lovely ways. That's another one where it's being coloured in and only used one element of it. This one has been it's been stamped twice and cut out and laid side by side so it looks like multiple flowers going around. But of course the stamps you can use and create that depth and dimension and create that decoupage element using them. Absolutely beautiful. Just tons and tons of ways that you can use these. Again that beautiful um, lilies there looks absolutely gorgeous um, equally let's show you that one again that's the the paper pad version where it's all lined up and decoupaged up but of course it's a stamp and you can create these beautiful textures just by simply coloring them in so there's a lot of ways that you're going to be able to use this collection yes you can use it for your decoupage you can go as high or as low as you want you can keep it flat if you want if you want the traditional way of um, decoupage then you will multi-layer it up absolutely beautiful gorgeous florals who doesn't love a floral um, we've got plenty there for you to be going and, and getting um maybe might be your first time at trying decoupage these collections you're going to be able to get your teeth sunk in there and get really really creative with them you are and the great things about florals like debbie robinson they're timeless which is amazing uh, <laughs> it's been a brilliant mass class debbie thank you so much uh we'll be back with you again here very, very shortly uh, on crafters tv but and remember i hope you enjoyed that uh remember you can watch this back anytime you like so order these now today uh, and then come back uh, and get all the tips and techniques and debbie again uh we will see you back here real soon on crafters tv take care